Hi everybody and you good humans. This is Dog Training Anytime and my name is Julie Nally. I've been a pet behavioralist. I've trained dolphins, horses, dogs, chickens, you name it, for over 17 years. So I'm my main mission for this goal for this episode is that um, if you train the human, the dog will follow. And that's on any of my training videos. Today's going to be about potty training, and I'm actually going to just walk you step by step. I get calls all the time, and I think when they read the information, it's, it's overwhelming because puppies all, some of them do different things. Some of them learn much easier. So I actually have a puppy with me today, and uh, we'll come back to what this situation is. And I'm going to walk over to the table to make sure that the very first thing that I have parents do is make a list. The list is going to be what we call a trigger word. And the trigger word is what you use when you walk your puppy outside to go puppy potty. And you use that trigger word to get them to go to the restroom. Then you praise and you reward. Remember that this word will be used out in public. So make sure that you pick something that can be said everywhere. I also want the entire family at the table when you make the decision for all words that you plan on training with of anything from commands to behavioral issues. Everybody has to be in agreement. They have to use the same words and they have to know what they're going to reward and not reward. The other thing on my list as we get ready to go see what they're doing um, is that they have to have a, a calendar. I want you to put up a calendar and everyone who's working with the puppy will actually mark on there what their success was um, what time they took the dog out. So for me, you know, potty training is almost in the beginning every hour. That's really hard for, for parents to understand. But it's just like it is if we had a toddler and we would not wait for the toddler to tell us they have to go to the restroom. We have to know that they've got to go and start teaching them what we want. So let's walk over to the table. So we've got our list here already, and we're starting to make what words we're going to use. We also have Dog Training Anytime's book, and the page that we're going to be working on is page 10, which is potty training. Actually, all the way up to page 10, I recommend making sure that you've actually read and looked at. So let's go visit our puppy, Bear. Now here's the setup. I have a crate that fits the size of a puppy so that it's really important and you can come closer and if you have to. Um, it's really important that it's not bigger than the puppy where they can get up, walk all the way back to the back and go to the restroom. You also notice right now I have no blankets or towels because if they can potty in that and then shove it in the corner, they will. Dogs are clean animals. In a pack, they love to stay clean. So in a den, which is what your crate will represent, all my notes are going to be where you can print them out on this channel. But I want you to understand, some parents get so upset thinking, well, they should be free. The crate is the most safest way to train your dog and keep your own sanity. So you, when you can't pay attention, this is where the puppy would go. If I'm on the phone and I can't pay attention, this is where the puppy would go. If I'm going to take a shower and I can't pay attention, this is where the puppy would go because then I know where my safe, my dog's safe, can't chew anything up, and they have to hold themselves because they really don't want to go. Now remember, I take this puppy out every hour. Bear is only about eight to 10 weeks old, is here for in kennel training and um, it's a very young puppy and the parents just couldn't do it right now but normally I wouldn't even have a dog this young at my, for me to train it would be in your home and that's your job to understand that you're gonna have to have somebody who can literally take this dog out every hour to at least every two and I've got the ages on the notes as well but that's a guideline. Some dogs like us have to go much more than another human. And remember at this point, they don't have the muscle control to hold. And I also control their, their sleeping time, meaning I'm in control of everything. I get them up, I don't wait. For, a lot of parents wait for this. They think the dog will signal. They don't know this yet. They would be in a pack of eight to 10 brothers and sisters hanging out right now. 
and learning everything they need to know within their pack. We take them out of the pack, that puts them in such a different situation. So on top, you can see I've already got chew toys. They're the appropriate ones, but if I had a dog that chewed up anything soft like this, this would not be in my toy box. That's not safe. A hard ball such as this one is awesome. This little guy is teething, teething, chewing is like four to five hours a day and you have to have multiple things because these things are going to be, these toys, bones, treats are going to go inside the crate. But feeding, actual dinner and breakfast and water intake is all controlled in time and we'll go over that. So the first thing we're going to do, as you see, I've already got a leash ready. I'm not going to carry the puppy. I only have a collar on the puppy only because I'm home. If I was not home, this little puppy would not be in a crate with a collar on it, just for safety purpose. But I'd have everything ready for me to grab, put the, the leash on the collar. If I have to go down steps, I would carry. From the crate, we're gonna walk right to the door. Let's go potty. So that's my trigger word, potty. Let's go potty. Let's go potty. Somebody new laying there, huh? Let's go potty. And we walk all the way out the door. Let's go potty right to a chosen. Let's go. And remember the leash work has to have already begun too. I've worked days walking this little puppy on a leash. Go potty, yay! Good bear, good potties. Good potties. You could have a treat. We've already passed that stage, but you could reward with a treat. Good bear. Good potties. And you make sure you make a big deal about it. Good boy. Good boy. All right, let's go. Let's go. And as you see, when I'm leash walking, don't kill yourself. <laughs> as I'm leash walking, I keep moving forward. When you're first introducing this whole leash and leadership walking, which is what this is, you have to keep moving. If the puppy stops and cries and pulls, like maybe like this would look like, I still keep leading. I don't stop and try to have a conversation. I keep moving. Remember, we're a leader. We f have them follow us. Good boy! Now I'm going to go right into some commands. I just place sit. Good job. Okay, good job. And I can give them their little reward right away as after they've come back in. Now I know I can do some playtime. Let's say this puppy did not go to the restroom. Then it's going to have to go right back into the crate until 20 minutes go by. Now if I'm feeding the puppy, so... I do not have that here. So let's say if I gave a bowl of food and water, how long would I wait until I take them out to go potty? Well, first off, I would never leave my dog alone. You've got to stay with the bowl, the water, the dog. You control that intake. Secondly, remember that then about five to 10 minutes. But again, I'd have this puppy on a leash collar. It goes everywhere with me unless it's in its crate. If I already know that the dog has gone both potty and poop and has already eaten I can come back in and now I can set up my play area so just for safety I still put a pee pad now let's talk about pee pads they are not potty trained this is not to train a dog how to go potty too many parents think that when they call me this is only to help prevent accidents on the floor this would not teach a dog how to go outside and go potty, but it's great for when you put them in the playpen area that I'm getting ready to do. So you want to pick a safe spot for your crate. Sometimes you can put a blanket over it. That gives them more of a den feel. Uh-uh. Stop. Always training. You're always training. So you're training on mouthing. You're training on chewing. Even if you're potty training, you have everything ready to go. So I'm going to go ahead and put Bear in the crate with the door open. Now remember, when I first, every day I do this. I give the puppy some time on their own. And every day 
I keep the, the crate open with the door. Now normally this would circle all the way around, but this is a little shorter one than I normally use. It would be a little bigger. You'd want a little bit bigger space, but if you see, I'd have the pee pad, the gate open. Come on over and just kind of take a look. See how the gate is open? I might throw treats in there, food in there. They can come and go and come and go out of that crate because when you're crate training, at first, it's kind of weird, and they start crying and getting upset. In the meantime, I might give them something else to go in there for. I change the toys up all the time. I might throw another one down. Remember, they're just like a toddler. They're not going to want just one thing. It's going to be multiple things. But this way, it's a positive association. The crate's never used as a, as a, as a correction tool. Now, while the puppy's doing this, I want to walk over and show you what the puppy might have done that's bad. So, typically what I find is that parents come over, they weren't paying attention, and they find a mistake. Oh, <gasps> bad dog! And they take the dog and they put their nose in it. This is old school. If I had a toddler, this wouldn't be acceptable. And it wouldn't make any sense to this little dog that I'm trying to teach him not to do this. What they do learn is poop, pee, torn up items in the area, get me and, well, if you're in the room and I'm in the room as a dog and I get in trouble every time this is here, but it doesn't change, it doesn't treat, it train the um, actual behavior act. So I have to catch a puppy in the act of going to the restroom, not afterwards. If I come in and I find this and the dog's right there, I have to clean it up. If I can catch him in the moment, I'm going to interrupt it, drop something, nicely go over, grab him, go back outside and repeat the same thing with the trigger word, let's go potty, the reward afterwards, and control your environment better inside. So when I clean this up, what I recommend to all parents is do not just use a regular cleaning product. I buy a product that has an enzyme. They have over 400 smelling little um, cells that can smell over 400 times what we can in the olfactory. So you want to make sure that you have whatever they've made as a mistake completely cleaned up, okay? So let's go ahead and go back and see what the puppy's doing. Now... As you see, the puppy's hanging out in the crate on its own, completely happy. I've got the leash on there only because I'm home and only because we're doing a video. And in an hour, less than that, I'm going to still grab this puppy and take him right out to potty. Even if the puppy, even if Bear is asleep, I'm waking Bear up to do that because I need to get the potty under control. Bear has been at this now three days, not using the pee pads anymore. Crying and signaling starting to, and that's why we walk them to the door. We want to get them to understand. This is very unnatural. Dogs live in a den, and they go to the restroom outside. This big house would be like outside to them. It's natural to go. So it's, it's something we have to train, and it takes about usually a couple weeks into months. So I don't want any children under the age of 12. I would never recommend that. Sometimes uh, parents will get these puppies and say that their kids need to learn. The parents have to be with them, all right? The other thing is you want to start to control your environment. Such things as toilet paper, um, garbage cans with no lids, um, all those things that are laying around, you want to make sure that is in full control just like if you had a toddler. All right, well, thank you for watching. And if you, if you like what you just watched, please like us. And hit the bell to follow us. You be good humans. Have a great day.